Lincoln and Tavishu are put up with more from George McClellan than most of us would for any other person. Uh, he repeatedly urged him to take action, and McClellan couldn't. The army wasn't ready. My horse's mouths are sore, and they could run. What on earth have your horses been doing that makes their mouths sore? Uh, he couldn't get supplies in time. Uh, he was not ready to attack. Uh, there would be all of these uh, things. Now, why didn't Lincoln fire him? One big answer, and a good answer, is that there was nobody to take his place. Ultimately, Lincoln did dismiss McClellan, and look what happened. In his place, there was Burnside, bumbling Burnside, who led to catastrophe. Oh, good gracious, uh, there was Joe Hooker, who boasted, oh, he was going out and get, kill all the Yankees, all the Southerners. And he again had disaster. Uh, they could not lead. There was nobody in the offing that Lincoln could say, aha, if I put this man, he would do better than McClellan. Now, over two years in the West, he watched very closely as generals developed, away from Washington, away from his overseeing eye, away from politics, and several of them were becoming major figures, notably Grant and Sherman. Watching them closely, Lincoln thought, aha, this is the team that I really ought to have. So when the final blow came, it came necessary to dismiss McClellan, Lincoln turned at once to Grant. He went out to the West. He did not know Grant. Maybe they had met once, but I think probably not. Uh, Grant did not know him, but Grant was a very loyal soldier, in contrast to McClellan, who played his own hand. Grant would do whatever the president wanted and do it extremely well, as he'd already done in the West. He brought him to Washington, he made much of him, and Grant was indeed totally loyal to Lincoln. So this is the evolution. Would McClellan ever have fought a battle if he'd been in power, a major battle? Would he ever have won a victory? I think nearly everybody agrees not. He might have had an engagement and then pulled back before it got underway. He probably would have retreated at high and tried a new plan of maneuver. But McClellan was not an aggressive soldier. His forte was arming, getting equipment, getting the horses ready, the, all the entourage, but not for fighting. Grant, on the other hand, cared little about this. He appeared in his old work uniform, no epaulets and medals and so on, all ready to go. He settled down at once to work, not for show, and 